Local 7 and 103.7 WTIB present Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. News, sports, and community information, and everything that's going on around town. Now, with Talk of the Town, here's your host, Henry Hinton. Okay, back for hour number two of Talk of the Town, and today we start uh, our qualifiers to win a brand new kitchen which is coming up March 1st at Home Fest 14 at the Greenville Convention Center. I will tell you more details on that, but stand by and don't go away because we're going to give you a chance to win this morning, and uh, you'll win a free ticket to Home Fest. In addition to that, you're also going to um, you're also going to be qualified to win a brand new kitchen. Details coming up on that in a minute. Five minutes after uh, eight o'clock. Welcome in to Talk of the Town here on 103.7. WTIB and Cable 7 Television here on Tuesday morning, the 21st day of uh, January. Trent McGee's birthday, everybody. He's a birthday boy. Welcome back to the show. Woo! He's been gone since Thank Thursday. You. How are you? I'm well. Good to be back. Nice and, to see you. And you mentioned my birthday, Jack Nicholas's birthday, uh, Wolfman Jack's birthday. Gina Davis. Gina Davis. And? And? Billy, he- Billy Ocean. Billy Ocean. And? Heather King's birthday. Right. Oh, it is Heather's yeah. birthday. It is. They share a birthday. They share a birthday. No kidding. We should call Heather. Michael, see if you can get Heather on the phone. Let's sing happy birthday to her. I would sing to Heather. See now, uh, the thing about it is, is that um, Lindsay would not sing to McGee. But okay. I, I didn't say that. I That's will okay. sing to I Heather. I said stand by. Stand by. Too early to sing. Me. Billy Ocean. <laughs> Billy Ocean, by the way, is 64. Get Billy Ocean, 64. Get out of my dreams. Get in the back seat, baby. Get into my car. <laughs> That's a creepy song in 2014, <laughs> isn't it? It is. <laughs> Michael just whispered in my ear, no Heather. Oh, sad day. Okay. Little does she know what she would be missing. By the way, McGee just came in uh, during the uh, during the news break at eight o'clock every day. We all kind of get up and walk around and stretch, and uh, we usually go in the kitchen and get some coffee. But I had a full thing of coffee. McGee just came in and said, "Man, is the kitchen clean?" Which, what you know, it is clean. The uh, cleaning crew came in last night and scoured the kitchen. Thank God for that. Yes. Because there was some small growth occurring. Ew. <laughs> in more than one place. And so, you know, but I, but I was, and I was so excited about that until I, I did a warm up. You know how you stick your coffee, if it's half full, you stick your coffee in your styrofoam cup into the microwave? Mm-hmm. I opened the microwave and the cleaning crew obviously missed an area. Uh oh. There, it was like that scene in the Ghostbusters where you open something and things start coming out. <laughs> the, the slime? <laughs> the slime started coming out. I don't want to see that. What is wrong with people? Why don't they clean up the microwave when they... Michael, you're probably the biggest culprit, I think. Michael will come in here in the mornings and he'll... How's that? You'll put sloppy stuff in the microwave and it'll stink the place up. Oh, and yeah, then, that's what I do. And on top of that, you know, half of it sloshes out in the microwave and you just leave it in there. Don't look under your chair, so, by the way. Exactly. So like three days later, i got to come along and put my coffee in there and I've got the remnants of breakfast past... <laughs> I mean, it's I just I nasty. I have microwaved eggs in, in a couple of weeks. He microwaves his eggs in there. And when you walk yeah, in here good. in the morning, it's like, oh, my God, someone's got diarrhea. Henry. I mean, I, well, I mean, that's, it's just an awful odor. Is it not, McGee? It, it has smelled pretty bad sometimes. I, have you ever smelled microwave eggs? Mm-mm. Oh, my good. God. It is the worst smell. Which stuff. I never knew you could do until I saw Michael do it. Yeah, actually, you can. They're, I'm they're not good. sure the FDA would approve that. I'm that's yeah. good then. Aww. It's okay, Michael. You eat your eggs. They're good for you. That's right. Mm. It's protein. You know, lots of cholesterol. So there's something bad about everything good. Lindsay was just eating peanut butter. Which is good for you. During the break. She was like, I'm like, what are you eating? She was like, peanut butter. I'm like, you eat peanut butter in the morning? No. And she says, it's good for you. It is. It's protein. And I'm thinking, you know, it's, it's full of fat. It's protein. protein. It has peanuts in it. Keep telling yourself that. And peanuts, it peanuts. keeps you full you. for a while, yep. which is good. The fat peanuts guy, are good the, the fat guy is giving uh, nutrition lessons to the small, thin woman. <laughs> 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 don't listen to me. Actually, listen to me. Just don't watch what I eat. And you'll be 
<laughs> uh, okay. Well, the snow is coming tonight, and uh, it's about time. McGee's excited about that. I am. Well, Matt, you were wrecked a long time ago. Said at some point we're going to get some. Snow on your birthday. And I hate snow. Hate snow. I love seeing it at least once a year. Tomorrow morning, when people are sliding into the ditch, trying to get through their jobs, freezing. Yeah, you. Let's see how much you like it. (laughs) It's not going to be easy to get to work tomorrow morning. I got news for you. I didn't say I was going to make the work, you know, drive to work a bit treacherous. So the line, it, there's always that snow line that's up around between like Bethel and Williamston where they get, they're going to get more up there, according to Jim Howard, like two inches up above that line. And a dusting, he says, here in the Greenville area, like a, an inch, excuse me, an inch or so. So uh, I don't think it's going to be a huge event. The, pr- the problem is not the precipitation that falls. The problem is that it's not going to melt because it's going to be so cold. Mm. The overnight lows tonight are going to get down um, to 17 degrees. Yeah, in the teens. 17 degrees, the overnight low. And the high tomorrow is only going to be 29 degrees. Now, we looked at the um, – we've, we've got a bet, and I'm saying the snow will start at 837 tonight. Lindsay tried to horn in on my number and just kind of pick something right in front of me. But <laughs> McGee says 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Yep. Eight thirty two. The rain is going to start about four thirty this afternoon. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to that. But it's going to still be very warm because the temperature is going to get all the way to sixty today. But then you know that front will come through. It'll start to the wind's going to shift to the west and it's going to get cold. So that's the deal. All right, now here's the deal on Home Fest. Uh, third year in a row, we're giving someone a chance to win an entire kitchen. For your home, we're talking about we're going to come in, tear out your kitchen, and remodel it for you. It's all part of Home Fest 14, which uh, our radio stations, 103.7 and Star 94.3, are doing in conjunction with the Greenville Home Builders Association. We're excited about being back involved with them again. And... um, this, you know, if if you're you know thinking about coming to Home Fest, there's going to be decorators, painters, electricians, gardens, pools, home entertainment, lighting, flooring, landscaping, you name it. Everything for home and garden coming to the Greenville Convention Center on March 1st. It's a Saturday, March 1st. And this morning, I'm going to give you a chance to win a free ticket to Home Fest. And when you win the ticket, you are then qualified to win an entire new kitchen. Now, here's what happens. At the show, on March 1st, we will draw from all of the qualifiers, and one person will win a brand new kitchen. Last year, it was a Mr. Haddock, I believe, from here in Greenville. That's right, yeah. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And his wife had cancer. Mm -hmm. She wasn't even able to be at the show, but it was a great event, a, a great moment when Mr. Haddock won the kitchen remodel. And, um... Here's what you win. If one lucky person at Home Fest is going to win this kitchen, it's valued at over $20,000. Ferguson Enterprises is going to come in and put in all new stuff in your house, in your kitchen. Aspen Tops will come in and do uh, t- countertops for you. Boyd's Carpet is going to come in and do the floor in your kitchen, brand new flooring in there. Um, Stallings Mobile Storage. Um, is going to, um, our buddy Eddie Stallings is going to actually take one of his um, many storage units out and so they can store stuff in there. And then look, even after all it's all is said and done, the guys from uh, 24 Restore, which is the, the, you know, the fire restoration people, they're going to come back in and clean everything up and put everything back in place and make sure that you're ready to take over your brand new kitchen just like it's a brand new house. That's the prize that we're giving away at the home show, Home Fest 14. And you can win that kitchen just by listening to the radio station, and we'll tell you which caller we're going to take in just a few minutes. So do not walk away from your radio because we're going to do that in the next 20 minutes. But meanwhile, we're going to start the hour with some news headlines. And Lindsey Fry is here from WITN to tell us all about it. Our uh, news and weather update this hour, a special service of Cellular Warehouse. Here is Lindsay. Good morning. 
Good morning, Henry. Good morning, everyone. Well, taking a look at some of our news headlines this morning, employees at a local family dollar stared down the barrel of a shotgun when police say two men with ski masks over their faces robbed the place. It happened around 8 last night in Oak City. The Martin County Sheriff's Office says two men had ski masks on when they came in armed with shotguns. Lieutenant Drew Robinson says the men took off on foot towards Commerce Street. Now, we don't know yet if the crooks got away with anything, but fortunately, we do know that no one was hurt. A man is recovering today after he was hit by a car. Now the woman who was arguing with him just minutes before he was hit is behind bars. 27-year-old Crystal Council is charged with assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, as well as two counts of misdemeanor child abuse and reckless driving to endanger. Now, WI-10 was there around 2 o'clock Monday afternoon when police were called to the parking lot of Logan's Roadhouse. We're told a couple was in the car with children inside. The man got out of the car after a loud argument. Argument. Witnesses say the woman floored it in his direction. Police say the victim, David Hall Jr., is being treated at Vidant Medical Center for non-life-threatening injuries. A couple who lawmen say had the ingredients to make meth in their house also had children inside. They're now charged with child abuse and drug charges. Online jail records show 31-year-old Jared Mackey and 30-year-old Holly Allen are both in the Onzo County Jail. Court records show the pair is facing a handful of drug charges and misdemeanor child abuse charges. Deputies say they found ingredients for making meth in the pair's Richlands home, the same home where four children all under the age of 16 live. Both Mackey and Allen are due in court later today. A local man is accused of indecent exposure. Greenville police arrested 44-year-old Alonza Best Monday afternoon for obtaining property by false pretense. He's also arrested for misdemeanor larceny, first-degree trespassing, having up to an ounce of marijuana, and indecent exposure. The County Detention Center officers say the Greenville man is being held on a $27,015 bond. And that's your WITN News update. Henry, we'll send it back over to you. Okay, very good. Our uh, weather update now. Here is McGee with the very latest on what to expect with some wintry weather on the way. Looks like it's going to be on the way for sure. Coming up tonight, guys, periods of rain and snow that will taper off later in the overnight hours, but is expected to come in um, in the evening hours today. A 70% chance of snow for tonight. Snowfall could reach around one inch. Lows tonight will not get out of the teens. In fact, a low of 17 degrees for your Tuesday night. For Wednesday, mainly sunny skies, cold with a high of 29 degrees, so very chilly again for tomorrow. Clear skies for Wednesday night. Lows again back in the teens, around 19 degrees for your Wednesday night low. Thursday, a mix of sun and clouds back in the forecast with highs in the low 40s and lows in the upper teens. All right, news and weather, a service this hour of Cellular Warehouse. Uh, our friend Toby Williams, along with his folks, Carla Sutherland, Candy Kent have an, a combined 45 years of experience helping business customers with all their wireless needs. Here's why we switched to Cellular Warehouse, because they come to you. And, and you know, that's very important uh, in, your, in your business if you're running a business. And I'm telling you, we, uh, we're busy around here, and I don't have time to go to the cellular uh, store. And you probably don't either. When I find out the way Toby works, uh, we decided we're switching to Cellular Warehouse and moving all of our phones over there. So that's what we've done. The Cellular Warehouse team comes directly to your office, to your work site, to your house, to the golf course, to your church, pretty much anywhere. Maybe not church. Well, I mean, they might come to your church if you were. I mean, work. maybe. But they wouldn't walk into the service or anything. <laughs> but uh, pretty much anywhere anywhere you need them to be, they come to you. You just want to order one phone with one line. They'll come to you. And they cover all of eastern North Carolina from Elizabeth City to Wilmington. And they specialize in saving you money also on wireless service. I called Toby the other day, and I said, you know, I'm in this – I'm actually in a plan, you know, my business manager's looking at our phones and going, my Lord, we're spending too much on data and all that stuff these days because I live on this thing now, you know? Oh, and, yeah. Um, and his response was, well, you know, we'll just put you on a different plan, and he worked it up, and I didn't have to do a thing. I mean, I just, he just uh, had me authorize it, and boom, we got it done. So it costs you nothing to allow the uh, cellular warehouse team to do a quick analysis of your current plan. Call them up, Cellular Warehouse, and uh, get Toby or Carla or Candy. They'll actually come to you, sit down with you, work out a new plan for you, and probably save you a lot of money at Cellular Warehouse, uh, Eastern North Carolina's mobile cellular store, where they come to you and you don't have to go to the store. I love that concept. Yeah. 
Great. Can't beat I that. Mean, they're doing a great job with mm-hmm. that. All right, 19 after 8 o'clock uh, here on Tuesday morning. And um, we mentioned what we're doing with the uh, Home Fest uh, 14 and your chance to win that $20,000 plus kitchen remodeling project. So we'll open up the phone lines right now at uh, 252-561-8255. We're going to take caller number six. Caller number six at 561-8255. Call right now. Caller number six, you are going to win a ticket to Home Fest 14, and you will be in the drawing on March 1st at Home Fest when we give away a $20,000 kitchen remodeling project. Call right now. Caller number six, you're the winner. Our first... Our first ticket winner and qualifier for Home Fest 14 and the big uh, kitchen remodeling giveaway. We'll be right back and tell you who the winner is. It's a new year here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. And as you can see, our lot is overloaded. We must sell 100 new cars in January. Choose from our biggest selection of the year, over 400 new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram vehicles, and over 100 certified pre-owned vehicles. Don't miss our New Year liquidation event here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Think you're in good hands with your insurance company? The same people who held your hand when you bought your policy might try to wash their hands of you the moment you file a claim. We'll help you take matters into your own hands by making sure you know your rights and we'll fight to get you the compensation you may deserve. At Hardy & Hardy, we're serious about seeking justice on behalf of our clients. Count on Hardy & Hardy, protecting the rights of the seriously injured. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage Company will deliver a storage unit to your home or business today. Stallings Storage is the only local company providing mobile storage units 8x15 or 8x10 delivered to your site. If you are remodeling your home or office or need to store merchandise and inventory at your business, you need to call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage. We deliver, pick up, and store it for you. It's that easy, and there's no need to send your business out of town when your mobile storage needs can be met right here with people you know. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage is located in Pitt County on Beast Oaks Road. It's a well-secured facility with a living manager. Fixed units range from 5 feet by 10 feet to 40 feet by 40 feet. We store boats, cars, anything you need. We are Pirate Supporting Pirates. Call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage today at 321-2300. That's 321-2300. Having a vision of what really matters is how we succeed. Keeping an eye on the ball, seeing all the things that we need. Focusing on the big picture, always striving to do what's right. Carolina Vision Care, we keep what's important inside. When you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. Uh, okay, it's uh, 23 after 8 o'clock, and uh, back on Talk of the Town here on Tuesday morning. And to the telephones now, we have our first qualifier in our kitchen remodeling project that uh, is going to be given away at Home Fest 14 on March 1st. And, uh, and Michael just handed me a note when I walked back in the studio and said, here's the winner. He's on the phone. I know that guy. It says Tony Cannon. Is this Tony Cannon, the general manager of Greenville Utilities? It is, unless you have a complaint. Well, I'm just... <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, can you do something about my electric rates? I sure can. I'll have somebody <laughs> right over there to speed that meter up this morning. <laughs> 
So I'm not. I mean, what do you think, McGee? You think he's qualified? Is he is he eligible to win this kitchen? And I say he is. I think I he certainly is. I'm eligible, McGee. You got a meeting this morning. Don't be late, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. He's your boss now. Oh yeah, he's no, no. chairman of the chamber. No, 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 no. Tony was chairman two years ago. Oh, I, th- yeah. I can't keep up. Yeah. yeah, who's chairman now? Will Franklin. Oh yeah, Will. Franklin. Will Franklin. Thanks yeah. for that reminder. Former chairman of the Greenville Chamber of Commerce, Tony Cannon, uh, who is the uh, general manager of Greenville Utilities. Tony, you're, I guess you're legit. You're our first qualifier. I made you. Imagine. Imagine Wonderful that. News. So you got a free ticket to Home Fest 14, which is coming up. On uh, By the way, is Greenville Utilities going to have a booth in this thing? I think we did last year, didn't we? I don't I hope you do. I'm pretty sure we did. But the uh, you know the, the Home Fest uh, is coming back. It's Greenville. It's the largest home show east of Raleigh, of course. And uh, it's even bigger because uh, we're giving away a kitchen remodel project. If you win, Tony, you'll get uh, a, a, a brand new kitchen. Actually, we'll come in, tear out your kitchen, build a brand new kitchen in your house. Uh, Ferguson Enterprises will come in and put all new appliances in there. You got Aspen Tops coming to put new countertops in, Boyd's Carpet. We'll put in uh, brand new flooring in your kitchen. Uh, uh, Stallings many more uh, many store mobile storage is going to uh, provide uh, a um, a storage um, a mobile storage unit out there, so you can kind of store everything in there. And then twenty four Restore will come in and give you the um, and and clean everything up. And of course, all new kitchen cabinets from Garris Evans. How about them oh my apples? My gosh, that is amazing. Yeah. So you're That's the first wonderful. qualifier. Must Great. be Thank present you, to win. You know who's going to do the drawing this year? Oh, tell me. Bob and Sherry are coming from <laughs> Charlotte. Cool. Bob and Sherry, who do the morning show opposite uh, this station on our other station, 94.3. They'll be in uh, coming in from Charlotte, or at least Bob is. We're working. Uh, Sherry may or may not be here, but Bob is going to be here. But it's going to be a big deal on March the 1st. And Tony Cannon, you are our first qualifier. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you, Henry. Look forward to it. All right. Thank you, Tony. Good talking to you. Congrats. You too. Bye-bye. All right, there he goes, Tony. How about that? No, that was not fixed. No. And Tony is legitimately a... Uh, I'm glad Tony called because I, I, I forget about meetings now. I had no idea they even had one. <laughs> so, thanks. Well, you've been gone for so long. I'm, I'm out of the loop. I'm out of the loop. Yeah. That's awesome, though. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm excited about that. All right. Uh, coming up uh, in just a couple of minutes, we've got a couple of guests uh, out in the lobby. There's a neat, uh, neat project going on with Pitt County Schools. And uh, they are working on purchasing a trailer for special needs kids, uh, bicycles, I believe. is. I think I understood that correctly. My buddy Richard Allsbrook mm-hmm. from Greenville Police Department, his daughter Laura is here. And uh, we're going to talk to her and I believe one of her advisors at school about this new project. So that's coming up. And more talk of the town, including Sports with McGee. Um, you know how we do earmuff alerts? You know, when something bad's going over the air that we might not want kids to hear, we, we need to start doing a Tar Heel alert. <laughs> For you Tar Heel fans, you might want to switch stations during sports because the Tar Heels lost again last night. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's getting pretty ugly, isn't it? You know, Hank and I were talking about it yesterday, though. Of course, Hank's a big Tar Heel fan. He says they're going to be better next year because they got better players coming. What do you think? They will be. That? I agree with that. Yeah. So, and- so their day is not over. Most of the guys I have on this team now, with the exception of McAdoo, will not be leaving. So, and McDonald's gone. Thank goodness for that. For Who's Tar-Hill good fans. in the ACC? Is it all the new teams that are good? Syracuse, Syracuse. is really, really good. Syracuse is, uh, Virginia's 5-1. and one. They're off for their best start since 1994. Yeah, Virginia's pretty good. I saw them play NC State two weeks ago. That They're they're pretty But impressive. Syracuse and Pitt right now, the two teams from the Big East Conference are the cream of the crop, I'd say. Yeah. And Duke is, you know. Duke's, Duke will be in there. Duke, Duke has had their moments. Yeah. But, they'll, they'll, yeah, yeah. They'll be there. But Carolina lost again last night to Virginia, so we'll have sports coming up. 28 after uh, 8 o'clock. Let's get a break in. We're coming right back. Talk of the town here on Tuesday morning. Imagine getting a new car and paying less than what you're paying right now. You can at Greenville Toyota's Trade Up, Pay Less sales event. Start the new year off right in a new Toyota with payments as low as $148 a month on the all-new 2014 Corolla. And new Camrys, just $20 more, now $168 a month. And 0% financing on 10 new Toyota models. Plus, we'll help you get the financing you need. And remember, every new Toyota comes with a Greenville Toyota Advantage. Trade up and pay less. Stop making those high car payments on that old car. Rush to Greenville Toyota today. At the law firm of Hardy & Hardy, we don't simply take cases. We take your case personally. I've been in several car accidents, and each time I've turned to Hardy & Hardy for help. They are honest, hardworking, and dependable. 
I've been satisfied with the conclusion of each case, and I would recommend Wayne and Charles Hardy to my family and friends. You matter to us. Protecting the rights of the seriously injured. Unlock the best life has to offer for generations to come. Introducing the Legacy Membership exclusively at Ironwood Golf and Country Club. As a Legacy member, you'll not only enjoy all the benefits of an active, family-friendly lifestyle, your children and grandchildren will enjoy membership status as well. Belonging to Ironwood is remarkable. Sharing it with your entire family is even better. Become a Legacy member today, only at Ironwood Golf and Country Club. Golf at its finest, life at its fullest. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South just four miles from Bells Fork and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy where we know dogs. Pepsi. Born here, raised by Panthers fans everywhere. Raise your Pepsi for a chance to win the ultimate fan experience. See specially marked 18 packs or visit PepsiRaisedHere.com to learn more. Many people in eastern North Carolina suffer from diabetes. The question is, can the disease be managed before it causes harm? Are there lifestyle changes that can help prevent it in the first place? And can a health system really make a difference? At Vident Health, we are empowering people with tools and resources to detect and manage chronic disease. Can diabetes education and management help members of your family lead healthier lives? The answer is definitely yes. Okay, welcome back. Talk of the Town here on Tuesday morning. It's good to have you here. And uh, we are got some guests in here right now. Uh, Laura Brickhouse is a phys ed teacher for Pitt County Schools. And uh, Julia Allsbrook is a student at D.H. Conley and a member of the D.H. Conley softball team. What year are you? Uh, I'm a senior. You're a senior. And your dad, of course, is the famous uh, Greenville <laughs> police officer, Richard Allsbrook. What is your rank, Richard? Lieutenant. Lieutenant Allsbrook. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Is he is he tough at home on you? So sad. I bet he's just a big pussy cat. <laughs> I bet with you. I bet you, I bet you have him in the palm of your hand. Yeah, I is think what so I'm too. guessing. <laughs> Don't take his raisin bran, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just like my daughter. You, you know, you get away with murder. Yeah, you, he he just loves you so much. <laughs> and I see you on Facebook all the time with him, so I know that to be true. All right, you guys are here to talk about a project Pitt County Schools are doing uh, for dis disabled kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, Laura, you're a, you're a phys ed teacher. You cover all the, uh, all the high schools? Um, uh, actually, elementary, middle, and high schools. Okay. All, all the schools that have So you have travel around to different schools doing the uh, physical education classes? That's right. It's myself and two others, Michelle Maisie and Jonathan Wells. Okay. And now, um, the project that you're undertaking is a fundraiser, as I understand it, to, uh, to help disabled kids by, but you're raising the money for a trailer. Is that right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Tell, tell us about it. Um, well, we, we teach PE to students with disabilities all over the county. So almost over 300 students with special needs. Um, so we go in and out of schools and, and we do PE with them, but we also are starting to add more programs like adapted aquatics, um, and bicycle safety. And the, the trailer comes into play with the bicycle safety. We have all the bikes we have the materials we've written a couple grants um we have you know plenty of bikes and adapted bicycles but we don't have any way to tote them around right. so we our goal is to teach students with special needs no matter what the disability is i mean we used to teach students with severe disabilities cerebral palsy muscular dystrophy to students with high functioning autism um, but our goal is to teach them how to ride a bicycle because they're chances are they're not going to have a driver's license. Um, right. You know, they're going to be walking everywhere as they get older. And so to access things in the community, we want to teach them how to ride a bike, make that a little bit easier for mm. them. 
great idea and you got to transport these bikes from school to school That's to right. uh to help these kids and so you're 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 trying to raise money to get a trailer for them all right now julia as a student and a softball player over there at dh Conley, how'd you get involved in this well, Coach, Coach Brickhouse is our coach at D.H. Conley, and a lot of us have gone out there and worked with some of her students, and we've been able to see what this equipment and how, how it really affects them and how it really makes them happy, and we've just been able to work with them one-on-one. -on -one. So you're basically just doing it as a volunteer? Yes. Yeah. What, what moved you to do that? Well, just once you go out there once, you really just want to keep going. The students are great, and the impact they have on you is phenomenal, and it's just amazing to see how happy they get when you work with them. Oh, that's great. All right, now, so you've got these bicycles, but you need to transport them, so you need a, uh, some sort of a trailer to, 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 to haul them around from that's place right. to place to help the kids train on them. So um, how can we help you? What are you doing? Um, well, we do, um, well, we always accept donations. You know, we work for the school system, so there's kind of enough said with that. Yeah. Um, but we also do a, a dodgeball tournament that's coming up. Um, tentative date is March 1st. We're still checking on the gym. Um, so we raise money that way, um, and we're constantly writing grants um, and things like that just to keep the flow of money coming in to purchase this equipment because it's not cheap. We, we had a generous donation from the Derrick Foundation. Um, they don donated five adapted bicycles, and these are like the really Really cool big adapted like tricycles mm -hmm. um, with hand cranks big and everything and yeah, yeah. Right. Um, so we had generous donation from them and then building hope is actually working on some bikes that the sheriff's department donated for us they're fixing those up and they're helping us out so we kind of just need to start you know continue to raise money and write grants to, to purchase this trailer and, and to fund some other programs that and other initiatives that we're doing too <laughs> okay and um so uh, the, the real nice thing here, uh, uh, Laura, would be, uh, and Julia, if, if someone is listening and wants to donate some money to help buy this trailer, how much money do you need? Um, we're estimating about twenty five hundred dollars, okay. um, but you know that's for a, a newer trailer. We'll, we'll take a used old landscaping trailer, you know, that someone's not using anymore. We kind of want to turn it into a mobile bike shop so we can do repairs right there on the spot. Some of our students don't don't like to wait as much as other students, mm -hmm. so we want to be able to have things ready to go and, and fix it as, as we're there. So if somebody's got an old trailer, maybe they're not using it anymore, and it's got the got the trailer hitch on it. That's right. Or something like that. You could use that even. Yeah. So it doesn't. They wouldn't necessarily have to. Wouldn't have to be a new trailer. You'd look at something like that. Okay. That's right. Very good. Yeah. Well, that's a great project. And um, how do people contact you guys? Um, well, my base school um, is at E B A C O C. So okay. I can be reached there. Email is usually um, the best bet. What's so. your? How do how do we reach you on email? My email is b r i c k h l at pit.k12.nc.us. Right. Okay. It's one of those really long, annoying emails. How about softball this year at Conley? Going to be good again? We're excited. Yeah. You We're guys be real won good. it last year, right? <laughs> yeah, we did, yes, You guys sir. won the state championship last year. Yes, yep. sir. Are you, uh, you got most people back? We do. We didn't lose many. I think we only lost four or five. A strong freshman class coming in, too. Really? Yep. You guys building a dynasty over there or what? Working on it. Yes, <laughs> yes, we are. I'll say yes. She'll say working on it. <laughs> what position do you play? First base. First base. I love that position. So, Julia, is your dad one of those parents that gets a little crazy during the game? He is. He stays in the outfield. He or does. if he's not announcing. Does he embarrass you at the games? You kind of get used to it. <laughs> 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 Lieutenant Osbrook is in the corner of the studio and look look at his face. I've never, seen it. I've never seen his face get this red before, Richard. This is amazing. <laughs> your your daddy is one of the nicest people in Greenville. I agree. And, uh, I agree. That's why that's and, why we're here. And, so thank you to yeah, Richard Osbrook. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Greenville Greenville police officer for how many years? Twenty seven years. I think I've known you at least that long. <laughs> <laughs> My funniest story about Richard Osbrook was when <laughs> don't hold back let's hear it <laughs> you were chasing a robber down the street or something what was it you were carrying that you were running down the street <laughs> uh, oh that's right he he had taken the the robber taking the cash register out of the out of the restaurant or something and he was and you were chasing him down the street i would have given a million dollars if i had to watch that i'd have, well, I'd have given 10 anyway <laughs> Did you catch him? He caught him. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, uh, thank you for what you guys are doing. Yeah. 
I think it's a great idea. Thank you for the work you're doing with these uh, with these uh, dis- disabled children, mm-hmm. uh, challenged children. I guess is the way to put it these days. And uh, and and Julia, thank you for getting involved. You you don't have to do that. You're not getting any school credit or anything, are you? You're no. just doing it because you want to help. Yes, sir. That's a great thing. So again, you're look you're looking for donations. Or you're looking for a trailer to be able to, to carry these bicycles around to help these disabled children learn how to to uh, ride these bicycles, which uh, could be a life-changing experience for them. Yeah, we hope so. And we have yeah. a Facebook page as well. I don't know if that's easier to, to Yeah, to tell us how to reach that. Um, it's just Adapted Physical Education for Pitt County Schools. Adapted Physical Education for Pitt County Schools on Facebook. So you, you can it. contact them that way. That's right. All right, good to see you both. Thanks for coming in. Laura Brickhouse, a physical education teacher with Pitt County Schools, and Julia Allsbrook from uh, D.H. Conley. Great to see you guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you for coming in. All right, we'll get a break in. McGee's got sports and more coming up. Be right back. Imagine getting a new car and paying less than what you're paying right now. You can at Greenville Toyota's Trade Up, Pay Less sales event. Start the new year off right in a new Toyota with payments as low as $148 a month on the all-new 2014 Corolla. And new Camrys, just $20 more, now $168 a month. And 0% financing on 10 new Toyota models. Plus, we'll help you get the financing you need. And remember, every new Toyota comes with a Greenville Toyota Advantage. Trade Up and Pay Less. Stop making those high car payments on that old car. Rush to Greenville Toyota today. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. When you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. Unlock the best life has to offer for generations to come. Introducing the Legacy Membership exclusively at Ironwood Golf and Country Club. As a Legacy member, you'll not only enjoy all the benefits of an active, family-friendly lifestyle, your children and grandchildren will enjoy membership status as well. Belonging to Ironwood is remarkable. Sharing it with your entire family is even better. Become a Legacy member today, only at Ironwood Golf and Country Club. Golf at its finest, life at its fullest. Having a vision of what really matters is how we succeed. Keeping an eye on the ball, seeing all the things that we need. Focusing on the big picture, always striving to do what's right. Carolina Vision Care, we keep what's important inside. It's a new year here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. And as you can see, our lot is overloaded. We must sell 100 new cars in January. Choose from our biggest selection of the year, over 400 new Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram vehicles and over 100 certified pre-owned vehicles. Don't miss our new year liquidation event here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Seventeen in front of uh, nine o'clock. Welcome back to uh, Talk of the Town and uh, Tuesday morning, and a rare uh, moment in the program where we have nothing scheduled. And so uh, Hank Hinton, our uh, radio station sales manager, and my offspring happened to walk in the door. Did you come in just to see uh, Richard Allsbrook? I did not know Richard was going to be here, but that was a nice little surprise for me. Yeah. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Big. You look Hank. nice today. How are you? Oh, thank you. My son Hank, who is. Uh, uh, our sales manager here, and uh, and at this moment serving to kill a little time here on the program. I, you know, normally I time things out a little better, but I had ten minutes to kill. So, 
So I, th- I decided I'd bring you in and humiliate you about your Tar Heels last night. Yes, I watched. What's going on with your Tar Heels? I watched the first half last night, and then I, I was telling Trent in the lobby that uh, I just kind of shut it down, and I had it on, but I, I stopped watching. It yeah, got it. It got embarrassing. Watch. Yeah, I, I tell you what, I ended up doing was surfing the internet for Richard Sherman videos <laughs> because I, I had never heard of this, him before the other night. night. Yeah, you and, and if you, about if I mean, you YouTube Richard yeah. Sherman, all of this crazy stuff pops up. I mean, but you know what? He was an honors graduate from Stanford. That's the crazy thing. I mean, he, but he comes off like a total idiot. Yeah, my neighbor told me he was magna cum laude or, or whatever it is. Uh, so, yeah, he was an honor student at Stanford. And uh, I started reading and, and looking up videos on him last night, and he – uh, uh, he actually may have told Robert Griffin the third not to go to Stanford uh, because he didn't like his coach. Um, there, there's an article. Did he play for, Har- he play for Harbaugh there? Yeah, he played yeah, for Harbaugh. He did. Yeah, he he yeah. doesn't like uh, Harbaugh. He Harbaugh. He and Harbaugh don't like each other. Now, if you don't know so, who we're talking about, since we're going to talk about it, I'll play the uh, crazy clip. This is uh, uh, Richard Sherman who went off after the Seahawks game the other night. After they beat uh, uh, San Francisco in the NFC Championship game, and uh, Aaron Andrews was interviewing him, and uh, she asked him about the pregame, about the game-winning interception that he helped make on the final play of the game, and then he went off on this embarrassing rant about 49 49ers wide receiver Michael Crabtree. Here's the way it sounded when he we did all this. Maybe. Michael, I'm getting the uh, I'm getting the the dreaded rainbow circle here on this computer. You say is the best computer in the history of man. It won't play. So anyway, it'll start here in a minute. So just leave it up, and when it does, we'll listen to it. Mm-hmm. I have mm-hmm. no idea why it won't start, but but uh, even Aaron Andrews was interviewed uh, yesterday uh, uh, by Dan Patrick on his radio show. I mean, she she, she became part of the story because. She, she was like they were. Dan Patrick was asking her on the radio yesterday. Were, were you af- afraid? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't seem like she was afraid, but I think she, she was so was, caught off guard. Yeah, the the look on her face was uh, priceless. But um, yeah, th- this is not the first time he's done something like this. And uh, if you if you YouTube him, you'll you'll see all these things. I mean, he he uh, here it is. Whoops, he's got into it with Jim Harbaugh before. After a game, it's trying to. Oh, this computer's going. Ask you the final play. Take me through it. Well, I'm the best corner in the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're gonna get. Don't you ever talk about me. Who was talking about you? Crabtree. Don't you open your mouth about the best. Or you, I'm gonna shut it for you real quick. L O B. All right, before and Joe, back over to you. <laughs> And that guy's a, a that guy's an <laughs> honors graduate from Stanford. Stanford really churning is that a churning matter? You know, about uh, five minutes after that interview, he got up on the big podium or the big stage with uh, with all the Fox Sports guys, and he acted reasonable up there. He toned it down. Yeah, with uh, uh, yeah, but Russell then he, Wilson. But then he did and, an interview with uh, Ed Werder from ESPN, and. Uh, I, I can't play that one either. Well, the, the, clip, the, the clip that you would need to play is uh, from a couple of years ago when he was on one of the ESPN shows with Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. And he tells uh, Skip Bayless that he's better at life than he is <laughs> and that Skip Bayless has never accomplished anything. Oh, that was the guy. I yeah, remember that. Yeah, so that's yeah. the same guy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I, I had never, never heard of him that before. Yeah. Actually, yeah. on the show. Better at life. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, you know, maybe he's pretty good at life. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, the, you know, here here we are, uh, and my computer won't play any of these clips, but we'll try to make it work in a minute. But, yeah, going you know, back here's, to here's the, the other, Here's the other subject that I want to d- discuss this morning. The the ACC, have have they now lost it? I mean, is it the, the sex appeal of, the, the, you know, the one of the best things about living in this region of the country for many years, growing up here, was the ACC basketball season, where, you know, people would get so excited about the ACC games. You know, first they stopped playing each other twice, like East Car- like Carolina and Wake Forest now only play each other like once. 
So you don't have the home and homes that you used to have, even though they left the home and homes in Th- for this year. I actually think those two teams play each other twice, but but so. it's not guaranteed. Right. But now, but now you've got ACC games where you know the best teams are coming in. Pitt comes in and beats Syracuse. Notre Dame comes in and beats Duke. I mean, I mean, uh, Pitt came in to beat NC State. Syracuse is beating everybody. Mm-hmm. And let me ask you this: Can I ask you a question? Who cares? I don't. Do you care about that anymore? I, did, I mean, look. I used to. I lived in Chapel Hill. I worked on the Tar Heel Sports Network. I was there during the heyday. I, I you know, I, I try. You know, I, I got to, to to be around Dean Smith and Michael Jordan and all that. And even I, at this point, could not care less. I just don't care anymore. Do you ever recall doing an ACC game on a Monday night? No. That's what it's done now. It's changed everything about well, it's all the landscape about TV of the and league. Money. I mean, you never saw an ACC game, at least I can't remember one, on a Monday night. Yeah, you because, had two because that, that was the Big East night, That right? was the Big East the, night. The, the Big, yeah. the big yeah. Monday. And now yeah. with the addition to Pitt and Syracuse and Notre Dame, you're having the ACC play well, their games on Monday night. You nights. can make an argument that the ACC has now poached the best basketball teams in the Big East, which was considered the best basketball league the last few years. And so the conference is actually more competitive now for the for the Duke and Carolinas. I mean, it's going to be harder for Duke and Carolina to win the conference now, and you're going to have more teams out of the ACC going to the tournament. But um, as far as uh, maybe it's just this season, they they've lost basketball as a whole has lost me. I mean, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I have no interest in watching no, nobody, any basketball. Nobody game. in the state of North Carolina except the diehard Duke fans. Yeah. Are going to care about basketball of the rest of the season, and it's mid-January. I yeah. Mean, I, I, do you ever remember that happening? I, I don't. I mean, they're, look, they're, they're having trouble selling tickets to the Dean Dome. They're going to be a bunch of empty down toward February, unless Carolina gets better, which I don't think they're going to. They're going to be the Dean Dome's going to be half empty for conference games. You know, the interesting thing about the Smith Center is that most of the season ticket holders do not live within a 30 mile radius of of the the dean dome and so it's hard for those guys to get there on a wednesday at seven o'clock the guys coming from greensboro and charlotte and and well, see down, I, re- down I, remember, this way. I remember when you would you know leave here in the middle of the week and go to a nine o'clock game yeah at the I dean mean, dome and then drive home and then get back to work the next morning i'll be like why would anybody do that yeah, you gotta I, be and a- I, I don't do that anymore and yeah. and not many people do that and so you got guys like that holding the tickets yeah and they're not showing up and and that's been going but, but, on for years but, but now. the truth of the matter is most of the reason you don't do it anymore is because you now have two children and a wife who would murder you yeah I, I, <laughs> That, that, that has more to do with me losing reason. interest. I wouldn't do it for that reason. I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> Two but. marvelous children, I might add. All right, let's talk about something else. Uh, we, we gave away our first uh, – we, we qualified our first person in the uh, Big Kitchen Remodel uh, program uh, coming up at uh, Home Fest 14 in March. And I know that you are out right now uh, procuring the uh, the exhibitors and along with the Home Builders Association, and it's going very well. We're going to have a full show again this year yeah. on March 1st. But there, if people want to sign up to get a booth in the uh, in Home Fest 14, you're the guy to call, right? Right, yeah. They can call me here at the office at 355-1037. And um, with last year, we had about 85 vendors. Uh, and we're looking to do more than that this year. Um, last year, we actually blocked some space off to the left uh, side of the convention center and and had some tables and stuff set up for lunch. But it was the biggest sort of home thing. show Greenville had so in we've 10 got, years, probably. Yeah, 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 it was huge. I mean, we had 1,500 people come through the doors, and yeah. um, we gave away that kitchen uh, makeover at the end of the day, which is what we're planning on doing for the second time this year. Uh, we've got some great vendors that have donated – appliances, countertops, um, uh, cabinets, uh, flooring, and we've even got a, a couple of uh, sponsors. Uh, Eddie Stylings is going to give us one of those uh, mobile storage units, mm-hmm. and uh, 24 Restore is actually going to pack everything up for the winter, put it in the storage unit, pack everything back into the house, and clean everything after all the subs are the the all all the businesses are done remodeling your kitchen and so nice that's a nice prize this year and uh, uh, we're going to qualify people on the air you can also go to uh, about six different businesses here in town 
to register, and there's going to be one winner, and you have to be present to win the kitchen. So you've got to come to the home fest, but uh, you're giving away tickets as mm-hmm. well as uh, mm-hmm. qualifying people for and the I believe, kitchen. And I believe Tom and Sadie are giving away in the afternoon, too. They right? sure are. Yeah. Tom and Sadie and uh, and our guy, our DJs on Star 94.3 are also a part of this. Yeah, so you can win free tickets to home fest on our stations, and everyone who wins a free ticket is then qualified for the uh, uh, for the kitchen giveaway. And, um, you know, we'll have everything there from um, home builders, building supplies, interior decorators, painting, electricians, gardens, pools, home entertainment, lighting, flooring, landscaping. So if you want a booth, call Hank. Operators are standing by. That number to call here at the office is 355-8822. Or what's your email? Uh, Hank at ibxmedia.com. All right. Very good. Hank Hinton, our sales manager. Let's check our sports update right now. McGee is here with uh, more humiliation for Hank and Curry. I'm just kidding. For Carolina fan. Earmuff alert for Carolina fans. Here's McGee on sports. All right, in NC State, though, they had a big win last night. They rallied from 11 down to come back and beat Maryland 65-56 to move to 12-4 and overall, 2-4 and now in the ACC. Carolina did fall to Virginia Monday night, 76-61. to The Tar Heels now 1-4 in the ACC for the first time since 2002, only a second time in school history, and two top 25 upsets Monday night. Creighton all over Villanova. Uh, after hitting 21 threes, 96 to 68, and Nebraska beat number 17, Ohio State 68 to 62. I did want to mention, too, that NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said Monday that the league is considering a proposal to eliminate extra points. One proposal on the table is that you could potentially go for an eight point with a run or a pass. And obviously, if you do not get that, you will go back to six. And there's being strong consideration to consider Say that take, again? taking away extra points from the NFL. What? Mm hmm saying there's no excitement to it and that people are saying that you're guaranteed seven points. There were five missed extra points total last season. I will say this. They, the the kickers in the NFL 12, never 000. miss. They don't yeah. miss field goals. They don't. I mean, it's very rare they miss a field goal unless it's 50 yards plus. Yeah. And the extra points are automatic. But what do you think about that? I, I, I eliminate extra points. I, 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 mm. That's, I a, part of, that's yeah. a part of the tradition of the game. I don't, I don't think you could do that. Why don't you just back yeah. it up? Yeah. Make it, yeah, you could. You could yeah. back it up. Back up the extra. Make point. it a twenty-five yard field goal. It won't matter. They, I mean, the kickers They're in the NFL, they'll miss. Uh, they'll miss more than five if you back it up a little bit. Yeah, I can't but, believe uh, they missed five. Because you never, I never see a missed extra point in, uh, in in NFL. Well, and if they miss an extra point, they're yeah. usually cut the next week. Right. So. By the way, we're talking about the ACC. East Carolina <laughs> plays at home Thursday night with Tulane, and uh, I hope everybody will come out and support. Coach Lebo, because, you know, they had a rough, they've had a rough run. He's got some injuries. Uh, I got a text this morning. You know who's going to be on the show next week with us? Who's I don't that? know if I told you this or not. A.C. Green is going to be on next week. Oh, he's coming for the Building Hope thing. He, he is the speaker, a former uh, L.A. Laker. La- yeah, the Lakers, yeah. Uh, he is coming to Greenville to be the guest speaker at the Building Hope uh, event, uh, I think, coming up. I think that's in March. Mm-hmm. And or maybe April, but uh, I will have somebody here next week to talk about that. And next week, Jeff Comfort, the athletic director at ECU, coming on as well. Do you have to leave? I do. You look like you're. you're I do. I'm, remem- I'm remembering. I have to go. Oh, I was going to say I'm slide. Well, you know, you hadn't been here all week, so I mean, why don't you just leave now? It's a good. <laughs> <laughs> Trent McGee, ladies and gentlemen, happy birthday, McGee. Hey, hey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, McGee. I'm also excited about, uh, you know, the other thing in talking about, we got like a minute left, uh, in talking about, you know, the teams that left the Big East to go to the ACC. The East Carolina next year will be playing, I mean, you look at who they're playing next year. They're going to be playing UConn. They're going to be playing uh, um, Memphis, uh, Cincinnati, South, Florida. I mean, South Temple. Florida. Temple. Temple's Temple. another good basketball team. I mean, team. You, you take Temple, Cincinnati, UConn, Memphis, Memphis. Four of the, I mean, storied basketball tradition schools in the country. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. East Carolina is, you know, uh, going to be in a, for the, you know, it's, it's, it's almost kind of like when, we, when the, uh, when the Conference USA kind of formed before, we were really moved into a big time conference. But this is bigger time than that, I think. Yeah. And I think uh, Coach Lebo is already getting some recruits uh, that, that are proving to be a little bit better than what we're, we're used to. So, yeah. So maybe uh, he's going to need them. Yeah, it's going. Yeah, he he's he's got some good young players. 
But the problem this year, when he lost the Gilmet kid uh, to a leg injury for the season, um, and um, and then uh, the kid, the the other six ten kid that was such a big uh, part of the the run to the CIT championship uh, from Alabama, the kid that transferred from Auburn. Yeah. When when he didn't come back Armstrong. this year, Armstrong didn't yeah. come. Ty Armstrong. And uh, you know, and I heard Brandon Stith got a little banged up on the Florida trip too. I don't know what his status is, but I hope he's okay because he's going to be a great young player. But East Carolina, uh, I think the future is very bright for East Carolina basketball. But you know, you can't have hills without valleys, and they're going through a little valley right now. But I think they'll, I think they're going to be good. They're going to uh, Coach Lebo is going to get it done here for sure. Yeah, All right, um, give that number to call again if people want to sign up for the Home and Garden Show. Yeah, if you want a booth or two at, at the Greenville Home Fest coming up on March 1st, the number is 355-1037. Easy to remember, 355-1037. That is Talk of the Town today. Don't forget, be careful driving tonight. Snow's supposed to start coming in after 8 tonight and about an inch in Greenville, maybe two inches up around Windsor, Williamston, Edenton area. Be careful in the morning. It's going to be cold. See you tomorrow.